We begin tonight about the frustration that is showing in districts across Northeast Wisconsin. Parents say it's just not working anymore with virtual learning. Local 5's Danielle Zolkowski in Shawano tonight, where a group of parents wanted to make sure the school board heard their message. Their kids are suffering without in person learning. We absolutely love Shano. We are Shano supporters. We are parents. We are advocates for anybody who wants to go back to school. The Shano SOS or Save Our Children group met tonight to attend the virtual school board meeting together and asked that the school bring their children back for in person learning five days a week. We want to work with our school district. We don't want to lose people to other school districts or different schools in our area. Multiple parents told Local 5 they pulled their children from the Shawano School District to get them in person elsewhere. I transferred my daughter to a parochial school as a 10 year old, a fifth grader. She was in tears that she could not attend class. It's not fair to any of these students. You guys are going to this profession to make differences between each other, and you are failing them. You are after the community feedback, the board discussed the gating criteria used to shut down schools, and the board voted on a reopening plan. All buildings except the high school on the 4th would be five days a week. And then on the 19th, when it's uh, able to start a fresh semester for the high school, we would go uh, in person learning five days a week at the high school. The school board passed the motion to open the schools in January tonight with plans to revisit the topic during the January 4th school board meeting should things need to change. In Shawano, Danielle Zolkowski, Local 5 News. And the school will use updated gating criteria in any future shutdown calls.